Hello, Karin Scassell here on behalf of Makers Mercantile with the top five things to look for in today's newsletter. Item number one, thank you. Yes, thank you guys. We finished off our auction on Saturday morning with close to $900 to donate to Mary's Place. And what we're going to do is we're gonna round it off to $1,000 and send them a check for that. Um, we wanna thank everybody who participated in it. And if you enjoyed it and maybe you missed out and you didn't win anything, well, guess what? We're going to have another auction in the month of July with new garments um, once more that have been you know, yarn discontinued or whatever so keep an eye out um, in our newsletter we will be announcing it there now in the past several months we have discontinued quite a few yarns and I kept promising you we're making room for new and guess what today I get to introduce one of those new yarns this is a new yarn that is exclusive to us it is called Admiral Humph and this is what it looks like it is a new sock yarn um, it is from Shuffle Vola and it contains 67% virgin wool, 10% um, hemp, and then the rest of it, the 23%, is a biodegradable nylon. So you heard that right, it's a biodegradable nylon. This is the first sock yarn that has a biodegradable nylon in it. So you can read more about that in the newsletter, but we think it's pretty darn exciting. Um, but what we really love about the yarn is the way it looks. I mean, look at these beautiful colors. Uh, what he does on these is that the yarn is dyed and then it is spun along with the hemp. The hemp is not dyed. So no matter what color you have, you are going to get a little bit of a third dimension going on um, with the undyed hemp in there. Um, it shows up more on some colors than others. There are 11 colors in all to choose from. Let me show you what they look like. This is, I don't want to knock them all over. Um, this, this is what they did look like. Um, anyways, we got one left. There we go. So uh, that is what it looks like. And it is, it is not on sale, but I'll tell you what, it is a fantastic price. It's only $15 for a ball. And on top of that, right now through July 7th, we will actually um, gift you this free sock pattern. Um, this is a sock that we designed for our sock of the month club when we did a sort of trial run with this yarn and everybody loved it so much that we were like, okay, we gotta bring it in. And so that's what we did. So this is the sock free sock pattern that you're gonna get if you purchase one ball, which is all I have left on my little tray, one ball of the um, new Admiral Humph. Okay, moving right along. We didn't have any fabrics in the last newsletter at all, so this time I have two in there for you all, all you sewists. Um, one item I want to bring out, first of all, is this beautiful piece. This was um, sewn by Connie, one of our team members here, and she sewed it off of this Merchant and Mills pattern called the Fielder. So this pattern here utilizes um, whatever material you want to use and cuffs to go you know with it and of course we have our new series of cuff me um which i'm sure that's they look like this um we introduced them in one of our newsletters recently so we um a lot of us have decided to knit this knit this sew this um anyways so today is the first out of four weeks in a row that we will be showing you a new piece that has been sewn out of this pattern and we have ordered extra of the patterns so that a lot of you can sew along with us and if you do and you decide you know hey i'm gonna do this or that send us a picture of your finished piece by the end of july and then we'll pick one of them as our favorite and that person will actually get a 25 dollars gift certificate towards makers mercantile so that is this pattern it's called the fielder and the fielder is actually going to be 20 percent off um, i'm not exactly sure for how long maybe it is through july 7th as well you'll have to check that part out in the newsletter and then of course we have lots of different fabrics that you could use for it connie actually used an agf um, denim it's a super lightweight denim as you can see it has a lot of drape to it here um, but she used a denim we also have a lot of rands we have silks we have cottons you could do whatever you wanted and of course it is a um, 
a raglan sleeve. I love raglan sleeves because that, I love it when you use different colored material for sleeves and so on. So keep an eye in the next few weeks and let's see what else um, our team members come up with. Moving right along, we have so many requests for additional colors in the knit jersey that comes from Art Gallery Fabrics because it is such a great knit jersey. It is the perfect weight. It's opaque. Um, it is just fantastic. And so we did get a new shipment in. Um, I think we got six new colors in. Um, maybe seven, but I think it was six new colors in. Um, these are two of them. Most of them are rather on the muted um, side or hues that have a little bit of gray in them. Um, and one color that's called vermilion that I thought was gonna be like a coral red and it's like a boom orange, absolutely stunning. Anyways, that is our new knit jerseys. And if you need a pattern for your knit jersey, we think this one is great. This is also a tissue pattern. Um, and this is called Ebony. So Ebony actually has three different patterns in one. It's sort of like the Merchant and Mills pattern has a dress and a top you can make out of it. This one, you could make a dress or a tunic top or a shorter top. It has three different necklines that you can use. It has three different sleeve lengths that you can use. So do a little mixing and matching and this pattern could give you, you know, I don't know how many different tops, probably 30 different tops. I haven't done the math um, and it's math is not exactly my forte. So anyways, that is this pattern and it is called Ebony. Um, if you are a sewist or a knitter, snipping little threads or little bits of yarn is probably something you do all the time. We have these new little snipper dippers in from Fiskars and we love these because they are heavy duty and they also have super sharp tips. So if you're a sewist, you can actually use this um, as a seam ripper as well. Um, what else do we have going on? Um, we had our class on Saturday, which was our first on-site class since COVID hit. Thank you everybody who came out. Everybody had a wonderful time, came out with beautiful projects. It was actually an indigo vat and resist dyeing class taught by Connie. She did a fantastic job. We have some photos um, in the newsletter as to what happened. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start introducing more um, classes that are on site. And the first one I'm introducing this week is two socks toe up at the same time. And it's been taught by Kim Olson. She has two different sessions. One is during the daytime, one is in the evening. And the sessions are, um, uh, well, there's two two sessions. So each session, <laughs> Let's put it this way, each two-part session. So um, one session is gonna be in July, one session is gonna be in August, whether you take the daytime class or the evening class. Information for that as well is below. And then I would like to thank one of our customers. Um, she comes in like once a year with a big bag of goodies. Um, goodies, by, by goodies, I mean beautiful, beautiful pieces that she has knit for charity. And I mean, we're talking about hats that have cables and we're talking about hats that have intarsia on them, all different kinds of hats, cute little metallic hats, baby hats, adult hats, all different kinds of hats. And on top of that, she has probably a dozen different um, knitted knockers in here as well. So thank you so much to Bonnie Sims for doing this for us. We are going to be sending you this maker's bag that's filled with yarn so that you can uh, continue to knit for charity. And um, so we can see you again next year with another bag full of goodies. I think that does it. I'm trying to look through my list. We got that, that, that. Um, oh no, we didn't get that. Weave in. Um, it's the end of the month, which means it's the beginning of the July coming up here. And we have our weave in and our knit ins are always held on the first Tuesday, Thursday of the month. So weave in is on the first Thursday, which is going to be this coming Thursday. Um, can you believe July 1st is this Thursday? And Cynthia Gerard, Gerald, sorry, Cynthia, I always, butcher your name somehow. Um, she will be uh, hosting the Weave In on this coming Thursday night. And then next Tuesday night, reading the newsletter, what we have going on, I'll be going over that on Friday. So please do join us. We look forward to having you. Um, try to stay cool. I don't think everybody has it as hot as we do. We have it at 112 today in Seattle. Before I did this video, I looked 112. Seattle is not cut out for 112 heat. Most people 
do not have air conditioning. I mean, it is sweltering here and we are not set up like Arizona or, you know, Southern California or Texas or whatever. We're not cut out for it. Anyways, hopefully it'll cool down for us. In the meantime, um, stay cool all week. We will see you on Friday again and have a good one. Ciao.